The roots of the Manning family tree run deep in New Orleans. Archie Manning planted the seeds when he starred for the Saints in the 70s. Who's your favorite football player then? My dad. Your dad's your favorite football player too? Well, you're on the right track. You're gonna be a football player when you grow up? Mm -hmm. His sons, Peyton and Eli, carried on the Manning legacy in the Crescent City. When it comes to Newman football, the first thing that comes to your mind are the Mannings. We've had two of the you know, most famous athletes in the country and best in the country, two brothers that have come through our system and gone to the pinnacle so many times. The Colts are world champions! They're the heroes of this community and, and I think the city of New Orleans. And the Giants have finished off the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the second time in four years. For the Mannings, family and Newman football go hand in hand. I grew up coming to Newman football games, and Friday nights were exciting. I was in fifth grade, sixth grade, and Peyton was a sophomore. He was a starting quarterback. Cooper was a starting receiver. Cooper um, was a you know huge influence on me. He was my hero. I think I completed like 120 passes that year through 90 of them to my brother. Cooper's football career ended abruptly in college, which prompted a uniform change for Peyton. I changed jersey numbers from 14 to 18, really as a tribute to him. He told me he wanted to kind of live his dream of playing football through me, and of course, Eli as well. Recently, the Mannings returned to where they made number 18 legendary, with their former mentors in tow. Playing on the uh, real grass. Yeah, yeah, the real good, grass. Yeah. Yeah. We get back a couple times a year, and um, you know, it's great to get back to your roots. This place looks good. How many pictures do you send them? You have to send them every single picture you've ever taken. Everybody has one picture and you have four. Every day begins the same for Newman's football team in the weight room. But this day is a little different. A little lower, come on, lower. Sit, 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 sit. Shoulders up, good. Thank you. Good. It's just, it's a real humbling feeling when you see both of them walk in. Everybody up, come here real quick. They wanted to come in, just talk to the players, and, and talk about what Newman football meant to them. It's something I'll never forget, they'll never forget. Just appreciate you guys up earlier this morning working hard. We spent a lot of time out on that football field trying to help Newman win football games. So I just want to present my golden football to uh, you, Nelson, and uh, hopefully y'all can find a place for it in the yes, trophy case over there. You know, it's great coming back in here and seeing all y'all grinding away. But it's a great reminder to seeing kids doing what they love and playing football, and, and I feel the same way every day. And I also am very honored to give you my golden football as well. Uh, thank you. The Mannings embody, I think, the best of what Newman has to offer. Thanks, fellas. You got it, man. Hey, guys. See y'all. Y'all are welcome. Appreciate it. See you. You got it. Good luck. When you get handed that gold football and you show it to your players, it's a constant reminder that we've produced two of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the game. I don't think it gets any better than that.